Hi, welcome to another episode of Good Housekeeping Stitch Club. I'm Mariana. Every episode, we're going to be showing you how to make a new knit or a crochet project from beginning to end. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make our easy peasy knit hat. Uh, you could make this in one color. We've chosen to make it in color block. And if you buy our kit, it comes with two balls of yarn and this kit will make two hats with opposite colors. So this, this project is a rib knit. If you've taken our garter stitch class, then you know how to do the knit stitch. In this class, we'll show you how to do the purl stitch. So this hat is just knit and purl to create a ribbed fabric to make your hat. You're going to need two balls of yarn, size seven knitting needles, a pair of scissors or snips, and a darning needle to finish at the end. To start on your beanie, the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot, insert your needle, and cast on. Today I'm going to be casting on using the backward loop method, which is really simple. So you're just going to loop over your thumb, feed the needle from left to right, and pull onto your needle, making sure to leave a little bit of loose tension. We're going to cast on 70 loops for this hat. Just make sure that you're not pulling too tight. You want to leave a little bit of room so that you'll be able to knit into this loop later. And as you cast your loops on, just slide your loops down the needle. So here we have 70 loops on our needle and it looks really tight, but that's totally okay. Once we're done knitting and you slide your work off, you'll see that it does expand. So now that we have 70 loops on our needle, we're ready to start knitting our rib stitch. Rib stitch is just alternating knit stitch with purl stitch. For this hat, we're going to start with the purl stitch. So purl stitch is just inserting your needle from right to left, and then you take your working yarn, loop over your needle and under, and then pull through. Again, that's inserting your needle from right to left in the front, looping your yarn over and under, pulling through, and sliding that stitch off. Then we switch to the knit stitch. So we're going to take our yarn to the back, insert our needle, needle from front to back, left to right, loop your yarn over, pull through, and slide off. Again, the knit stitch, you insert your needle from left to right, from front to back, yarn over your needle, pull through, and then slide your stitch off. We've knit two knit stitches, so now we're going to purl. So we're gonna bring our yarn back to the front of the work, insert your needle in the front from right to left, yarn over the top and under, Pull that loop through and then slide off your needle. Again, the, for the purl stitch, you move your working yarn to the front of your work, insert your needle from right to left in the front, yarn over, pull the loop through and slide off. So you'll continue knitting this rib stitch, knit two, purl two, until your work measures about seven inches and that creates the bottom part of your hat with the turn-up brim. So at this point, we've knit seven inches and we're ready to move on to the second color. So we're gonna turn our work and the second color I'm using is this lilac color. And to switch to the second color, you just start with 
this is a knit, two knit stitches. So we'll insert our needle as if to knit. We'll loop over, pull that loop through. Make sure that you, you grab the working end of your yarn and not the tail end. So grab the working end of your yarn. You can hold the tail end with your left hand and then we'll insert the needle from left to right to make another knit stitch. We'll move our yarn to the front to create two purl stitches. Move your yarn to the back to knit two stitches. And just continue on in pattern in this manner. If you're worried about your new color getting too loose, Clip your first color, leave a little bit of a tail that we'll weave in later. And you can loosely knot these together. That way you keep your tension and you can continue knitting in rib stitch for the remainder of your hat. So now we're at the point where you have knit your first color to seven inches and your second color should be about four inches tall. And at this point, we're going to start decreasing to shape the top of the crown. For your first row of shaping, you'll knit two. And then here is where the decrease happens. You'll purl two together. So that may sound intimidating, but it just means that you'll pick up both purl stitches on your needle and purl them both together. And I'll show you that again. You'll knit two. One, two. And then pass your needle through both purl stitches, yarn over, and purl those two stitches together. You'll pass your needle through both purl stitches, yarn over, pull through, and that's your decrease, purling two stitches together. Knit two. Bring your yarn forward. Pass your needle through both purl stitches, yarn over, and pull through. And that's your decrease stitch, purling two together. You'll continue this way for the rest of the row. So you've created your first decrease row, and if you look closely, you'll see you have two knit stitches and then one purl stitch. Two knit stitches, one purl stitch. So you should have 53 stitches on your needle. We're gonna turn over the work, and the next row you will purl two, one, two, and knit one. You'll purl two, and knit one. And the next row, you'll do the opposite and knit two, purl one. And you continue in that way for four rows. So now we're ready to create our second decrease row. In this decrease row, we will pass your needle through two knit stitches and knit those two together. Then bring your yarn forward, purl one, and decrease again by bring your yarn to the back, pass your needle through both knit stitches, yarn over, pull through, and that's your knit decrease. Bring your yarn forward, purl one, bring your yarn to the back, pass your needle through both knit, knit stitches, yarn over, pull through, and that's knit two together. 
So you'll continue in this way for this row, knitting two together and purling one. When you've come to the end of your second decrease row, instead of knitting the last two stitches together, you're just going to knit two. Then you'll flip your work, and in this row, you will purl two. One, two. And then you'll continue with knit one, purl one to the end of this row. We've completed our last knit one, purl one row, and at this point, you should have 36 stitches on your needle. At this point, we're going to decrease one last time by just knitting two together all the way across the row. So you're going to pick up two stitches knitwise, yarn over, pull through, and that's one decrease, knit two together. Again, you'll insert your needle knitwise, yarn over, pull through, and that's another knit two decrease. And you'll continue knitting two stitches together all the way across the row. At the end of this row, you should have 18 stitches left on your needle. So we've finished our last decrease row and you'll have 18 stitches left on your needle. You'll flip your work over and for the last row, is you'll just purl all the way across. So on this last row, you have 18 stitches and you will purl all 18 stitches. This last purl row is the wrong side or the inside of the hat. So you'll see you can really see the shaping now, and you'll see that this is the purl side, and this is the, going to be the inside of your hat. You flip it over and you see the knit stitches. This is going to be the outside of your hat. So at this point, pull out some yarn from your ball to leave yourself a fair amount of tail, which you'll use to sew your hat together. So now we have our complete hat. I know it looks really tiny, but at this point, we're going to take this tail and sew it through these last stitches to gather the top, and then we'll sew up the back seam. So just take your tail and thread it through. I have this darning needle. Then you'll thread your needle through these remaining stitches. easing them off as you go. And now all your stitches are on that last tail of yarn and just pull it through. And you can see the top of your hat starting to take shape. At this point, you want to lay your hat with the right side facing you. So the wrong so the pearl side will be on the inside and the right side will be up and you'll just line up your sides seams together like so. Make sure that you've pulled on this top so that it stays nice and tight. And then to seam together, you'll just look for the first bar here, thread it underneath, and you'll find the next bar on the opposite side and thread it underneath, and you'll just zigzag back and forth, making sure to pull on your thread so that the top stays closed and your seam is tight together. Just going back and forth, threading your needle underneath, and this rib stitch is pretty forgiving, so it's not an exact science. Just make sure that your sides do stay fairly aligned. There's a certain amount of 
give that your project will have. You can, it doesn't have to be exactly lined up, but make sure it's on the right track. So as you get down, you can see your tail thread is totally hidden. And now I'm about three inches from the end. And this is where I'd like to turn up my brim. So I'm just going to flip the brim up and then continue sewing this way so that when you flip your brim up, you don't see a big seam. And you'll just continue the way you were doing before, zigzagging and pulling that tail thread fairly taut so that it disappears into the stitches. And now we've woven up our hat. So the last thing to do is just weave these two tail threads in. I'll just pull tightly to make sure that that lilac thread is hidden and I'll give it a quick knot. So here you can see this is the, the seam on the outside and this is the seam that's on the inside where it's a bit more raised and if this were to be on the outside you would really notice it. So that's why we flip up the brim before we sew the seam on the brim for the last three inches. And to weave these tails in, you'll just thread them back onto your darning needle and you can weave them into the seam, kind of zigzagging. And the two tails you have inside your hat from the color change, you would just weave in the exact same way, sort of zigzagging onto the seam on the inside and double backing on itself, you won't see this. And you pull tight, clip it, and that end will disappear into the seam. Make sure you're not going all the way through so you don't see it on the right side of the fabric. And flip your brim back up, and there you have your finished hat. Right now it looks pretty tight, but it does expand with time and use. So don't be nervous. This hat is super forgiving. <laughs> so there's your finished hat and you could leave it as is, or you could make a pom-pom out of yarn or add on a faux fur pom-pom.